Hello guys, uh, in this video we'll talk about Python, uh, MongoDB and Docker. And basically we will try uh, to run MongoDB within Docker environment, so no need to install MongoDB locally. And then with our Python code, uh, we'll connect to the database and insert some data and then list all this uh, information within Mongo database. Uh, as I said, we will use Docker. Uh, if you don't know what's Docker, so shortly it is um, some kind of virtual machine or, or virtual environment and using uh, docker you can set up for example postgres or mongodb or any complex uh, uh, system uh, or development environment within your machine without installing anything locally so you will have layer of docker and on this layer you can put some uh, for example database or web application and they will be uh, connected so you can just uh, make some virtual environment. Uh, if you don't have Docker, you can install Docker from their website. Uh, it is docker.com and also, yeah, I will just show you docker.com and using this link, you can uh, get uh, Docker for your operating system. So for Mac, Windows, and I believe they also have some, some solution for Linux. And then uh, using this website, hub.docker.com you can basically just check uh, what you have within docker so if you go to just to main page you see that they have images they call it images so in terms of virtual machines it's a virtual machines uh, but in docker it's called images uh, for example for ubuntu postgres mysql and etc and also on uh, docker itself uh, and let's say uh, in our case it's a mongodb so we just we will search for mongo and we have a uh, image from official mongo so we can we will use this one and again using this image this using this docker environment we will have a um, mongodb in our local machine without installing mongodb itself uh, and uh, you can check commands that you need for uh, running MongoDB locally. It's, it will be uh, in descriptions of this image. So I will go to this. Yeah, you can just, you can say something like this. Uh, so, but in our case, uh, yeah, let's put this command. Uh, Docker run. Uh, but in our case, uh, we also need to specify port because. Uh, usually you have a docker environment and you have everything in your docker environment but in our case we have python code on your on our machine and database on docker so uh, we need to specify that uh, in docker expose this port open this port for connecting from my local machine so uh, this uh, option here specifies that when you run our uh, mongodb open port 27 or 17 for connecting from our local machine so just run this command you will get something like this it's id of your uh, container so containers in in terms of uh, uh, docker they are some kind of running instances of virtual machines they call it containers and using command, do uh, command docker do uh, ps you can see currently running uh, instances of docker containers uh, now we have our docker, we can move back to our uh, tutorial and try to do some uh, some operations with our database. Uh, as I said, we will uh, insert some kind of information to our database and then receive this information and just to see how it works. Uh, and for this, I will copy paste this example. It is in MongoDB insert uh, and this one up to here. Uh, I will copy paste it in our project. Uh, let's make it bigger yeah and here what we have uh, yeah it's I think readable so we basically import our package that we installed before everything we create instance to our database uh, which is called client then we get name of database or connect to our database if you are familiar with Postgres, so in Docker, uh, within Docker database or Docker instance, application instance, you can have separate databases. And also in database, you can have tables. In terminology of, of uh, Mongo, in terminology of Mongo, they are called collections. So uh, if, for example, if in My MySQL or Postgres, you call tables, uh, in Mongo, you call them 
uh, collections. So, so basically what we do with these commands, we connect to our Mongo, then specify our database and then our table or collections. Then we have our list of items uh, and then uh, in, in, uh, each item is a dictionary with name and address. Uh, and then we run com uh, command on our collection to insert uh, many items. Uh, the same way you can in insert uh, one item. Uh, it's, it's in our tutorial, I think it's the first one. So you can just insert one item. Uh, but to see the result, I mean to see the uh, list of the items, etc. I will ins insert a list of items. So for now, let's run this command. Uh, I will rename our file. So first one will be insert. Then we, have, we will have another file which will be list. So insert. Then I will call. So I, I will make sure that it's running. So I see that my Docker is running. Then I will call python insert.py. Uh, this command will insert all our objects in MongoDB into Mon MongoDB. And then show ID of inserted objects. And then uh, I will use another example from this website uh, to, to get all these items. So this one is okay. Go back, new file, list. So uh, we will call it list, but uh, in terms of uh, Mongo, MongoDB is, is a code find. So you can just search uh, within your database. So I will just call it uh, list, copy paste. Uh, Past and then go back and instead of uh, insert I will call list.py and I see that uh, now I get items that I receive I, I inserted before yeah before this command so we have all these items in our database so that's basically it so we can as you can see without uh, installing Mongo and anything except Python part we can get um, get running with uh, with MongoDB, with Python, with Docker. So my uh, main point in this tutorial was uh, about uh, Docker. So I want to show you how we can set up development environment using uh, yeah, let me show using uh, Docker and without installing anything. Uh, we can repeat the same example for Postgres or MySQL or any other database. Uh, and this video is a base for our next video or next videos on Python, Django and MongoDB. So it's just beginning. Uh, I highly recommend that you uh, first you try with this video, set up your environment. If you have questions, put them in a the comment. If you can get, cannot get installed, for example, Docker or Mongo. Uh, set up this environment and then repeat all examples in this tutorial because you will get a lot of information just using this uh, this tutorial uh, if you have any question uh, send me in comments or to instagram or any of my social network i will try to help uh, for now that's it make sure that you are subscribed so you will not uh, miss our next video and see you in the next one bye bye